Hi, this is Daniel and I would like to give a short tutorial video on how to use the official mod tools for Total War Shogun 2 that has just been come out, the assembly kit, and uh, using some of the um, community tools that are already available at TW Center. Uh, first of all, you need to install um, the mod tools themselves. You, those are available under Steam in Tools, and then this is the assembly kit, and you'll find an install um, item here. If you right click it, I already installed it, so this just say it's play game. If you go play game, then it'll uh, go to the to the installation folder, and you'll find a modding zip there. And this you need to unzip to uh, the following locations to C, and then some folder. Um, it's best to unzip it here because it'll cause um, problems with too long file names if you do that anywhere else and you cannot use spaces in the directory name. So I assume from now on that you've already done that. So let's move on from here. Um, what I do when I start modding is I use the tool MMS which is multi-mod support. You can get that at TW Center. I'll link in the description. So you'll start the MMS. First of all, you'll, uh, it'll need to know where exactly you um, extracted your tools. So that'll be under official mod tools. You can just um, copy that, paste it here, and you're good to go. So this is what the multi-mod support tool looks like. It has um, an existing changes entry. This is for what you've already been working on, in case you haven't used MMS before. But um, that will usually be empty. It's just, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll just be created. Let's start with mod. What you do is add. So I'll just do a little mod um, which will change some of the prices or one of the prices of one of the buildings. So let's say we call it reprice mod. And this will cause the support tool to create a folder for that and um, do a backup. So this will take a little time because it will first has to uh, have to change all the other files. But from now on, this is the, this is the asterisk here says that this is the active mod you're working on right now. So um, now you want to start the mod tools themselves. So this will start um, the tweak tool and um, we want to go into the database editor and you can connect to the database and then you want to start view and the table launcher. Now those are all the available database um, files that you can edit. Um, you'll have to take a look around whatever you want to edit. In our case, like I said, I want to change some building price. So this is in the building levels table. I double click and it'll open. So those are all the um, buildings that are available with some other options. And this one is the create cost, which is the price to build. So um, let's say I want to edit the Citadel price or the Starford price for for the Boshin campaign, the fall of the samurai, because 18,000 18, is a bit too much. So let's say I want to do it for, for 400, for 14,000. So I'll just double click edit and press apply. This will close this window. And yeah, now you change the the value in the file and you want to export this to a binary now because um, this is edited in the XML file and it will have to be converted to binary to be able to create a pack file from that but um, we'll see in a minute. So again we go to the building level, select this, this is a table list for export, press export and this will export this table. Um, yeah, you can do any changes you want, but you'll have to export them later on. Uh, don't forget that if you edited uh, several tables to, to um, export all of them. 
Now the next tool in the chain is the Bob tool. We'll launch that from MMS as well. So it looks a bit confusing at first, but basically what you're working on is the DB folder here in working data. Um, there's a raw data, which is the XML files, like this database table here. This is all the, all the database files that were in the list um, before. And this is basically the binary version of them. You can also tell uh, Bob to create that. If you click the billing levels table here, then you can say, well, we want to convert it to binary, but we already did that. So you want to create a pack file now. Press start, then it gets done. Create a pack file, you get a lot of uh, um, output here. And now your pack is created. Um, the MLS allows you now to go to the several directories. This is the assembly kit, kit the um, installation directory that you uh, gave before. And the pack file will be created at retail. And then data, this is the file that you uh, just created using Bob. Now, I also can open it directly from here in the pack file manager. Um, you first have to direct him to where you installed your PackFile Manager. In my case, I put it on the desktop and in a folder called PackFile Manager. And then I press open. So this will open the PackFile Manager, which allows you to um, inspect the pack file with all the contained uh, binary data. And here you have this DB folder, which contains the building levels table and uh, all the entry from the building level. Now, if you scroll down and look for the entry you just edited, which was um, boss case level six, this is this line, you see the 14,000 appear here. Um, what you'll also notice is that there's a variant model with lots of units added. This has been done by Bob, and that's actually a bug that um, CA are fixing right now. It's probably not going to be in later versions, but um, yeah, the MMS has a tool set to remove that. Actually, in the post-process menu, you can select cleanup, and this will, as it says, delete the directories, battle terrain, and variant models. And I didn't edit anything really there, so open it again and um, check what happened. The two directories are gone. But now I also want to the pack file to be as small as possible, and all those entries are actually entries that uh, come from the game. Those are actually copies from the game. So there's this optimize button here, and then it asks me for a prefix for my files, and it will actually also re rename the file. So it's called a uh, reprise mod. So let's use rm as a prefix. Let us say optimizing db files. You can open it again just to check back. So now the building level table. This is the file that we had. It's been uh, appended, prepended to the to the file name, and it only contains this one entry that you've been changing uh, of fourteen thousand. So yeah, that's uh, now your pack file is created. Now you can select install. This will copy this file to your Shogun folder. We can uh, open the Shogun folder directly from MMS and check that it's actually there. It was called reprise mod and here it is, which would contain all the changes. So now you can launch Shogun and the mod manager comes up. And this will be this will contain a list of all the mod packs that you have in this um, data folder, and you can just select it. And if you launch now, then your change will be applied. Um, to install a mod after you've tested it enough, and you really have to test your mods if whether everything works, and if you don't crash, you, you might be able to crash the game if you do something wrong. You have to double-click this. 
and then you can select here, put in a name and a description for your mod and add it to Steam Workshop. Yep, that's about it. I hope that gave you a bit of an overview over uh, Shogun 2 modding. So I'll say goodbye now. Happy modding and see you on the modding section in TW Center. Goodbye.